Hey everyone, this is Emily with Snake Discovery. When you're holding your pet snake, you're probably doing a visual inspection of it all the time, especially when you initially take it out of the enclosure. You're looking at its scale conditions to make sure there's no stuck shed. You're looking at its eyes to make sure there's no stuck eye caps. You're just doing an overall visual check on your snake. But one thing that people typically don't look at is inside the snake's mouth. By doing regular checks on the inside of your snake's mouth, if they let you do it anyway, you can catch early signs of upper respiratory infections. Now you might be thinking to yourself, if your snake's temperature and humidity requirements are met, there's no chance of your snake getting an upper respiratory infection, right? Well, say you're at a friend's house and they have snakes and they do not realize that one of their snakes is showing early symptoms of an upper respiratory infection. You hold their pet snake and then you go home and you hold your pet snake. You transfer it right then and there. It's a very contagious illness and it spreads rather quickly, especially through large collections. So by doing regular checks on your snake's mouth and its breathing, you can easily identify the earliest symptoms of an upper respiratory infection. The two main symptoms of a URI would be raspy breathing, which is pretty obvious. You just hold the snake up to your ear and you can hear their breathing, whether it's clear or if it's raspy. The second sign of a URI would be excess saliva inside of the mouth. And so in order to check the inside of the mouth of your snake, it's as easy as taking a credit card, or in my case, a MySA rewards card, and let's pretend this is the head of the snake. You'll take that card and you will slide it along the direction that the teeth grow, of course, so this is why it does not hurt them. You slide it into the snake's mouth, you twist it a little bit, and the snake's mouth will open because they're like, yuck, I don't like this. And then you can quickly check inside of their mouth, slide the card out, and you'll know uh, the condition of your snake's mouth and whether you see no saliva at all, or if you see spit bubbles or excess saliva, which would be a sign of a URI. We're going to take two bull snakes of mine as examples, one of which is a healthy bull snake that had no URI in it, so you can see what a healthy mouth should look like. And the other one is a bull snake that had a very slight URI, but I caught it soon enough and he's already been treated. I don't know exactly why he got it, but regardless, he's already treated and he's fine, I promise. Let's start with a healthy bull snake's mouth. This is Janet, he is a very docile snake, so he does not put up much of a fight. He, I could do anything to the snake, he really doesn't care. We're going to slide the card into his mouth, he opens up, and I don't see any excess saliva, I actually don't see any saliva at all. Next, this is Mr. Wilson, he is a hypoalbino bull snake, which is why he looks a little bit different. And if we open up his mouth, he is not as friendly as Janet, so it took a little bit more effort to get this. But we're going to open up his mouth, and you can see near the back of his mouth, there is some extra saliva. You really shouldn't see any at all. And that's why he doesn't have a lot of saliva there, but it's enough for me to want to treat him just to be safe. If your snake is showing very minor signs of a URI, just like Mr. Wilson was, you can usually take care of it with increased temperatures and humidity. Uh, just a couple degrees on the temp and just a little bit for the humidity, but I've seen this clear up very um, low key upper respiratory infections in about a week and no other treatment was needed. But to play it safe, I always recommend if you are seeing any signs or hearing any wheezing signs from your snake to bring it to a vet where they can prescribe you some antibiotics to clear that up. Once your snake is better, you need to determine whether it caught that upper respiratory infection as a result of something being wrong in its environment, or maybe if the environment is perfectly fine, then maybe it caught it elsewhere. Sometimes it's just hard to tell where they got it from exactly. Sometimes a snake may not be showing any wheezing symptoms at all, but they will have that ex excess saliva. So that's why I recommend once every three weeks or so doing a visual inspection on your snake's mouth just to make sure that you stay on top of things. I've seen snakes with serious upper respiratory infections still bounce back after treatment. So if you notice anything off with your snake and it might look like a URI or upper respiratory infection, bring it to the vet. Don't think that that snake is a goner necessarily because chances are it'll bounce back too with the proper treatment. Anyway, I hope that your snake never gets an upper respiratory infection, but if it does, now you know what to look for. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time.